Hi everybody, Ali Akbarian from Mobility Engineering back again for another Q&A. Thank you very much for sending in those questions, we love them. Keep them coming in and uh, as we always say with my trusty uh, subscribe flag, hit that subscribe button that's down there somewhere looking a bit like that and uh, we'll keep that content coming and we'd love your support so please hit that and help us get to that 10,000 subscriber mark and we'll keep that content coming. All right, so into today's video. So we're in front of our um, wheelchair accessible uh, Kia, the new generation wheelchair accessible. And we have a uh, specific type of question around tilting, traveling in tilt wheelchairs, right? So um, to give you a bit of context around that, sometimes uh, due to breathing issues or other stability issues and other basically specific requirements, sometimes an occupant needs to travel quite well tilted back when they are driving around within their wheelchair or in their vehicle seat. And the question has come up which is what do we do with the seat belt and what is the requirements for a seat belt when it comes to travelling in tilt? And I think I just knocked my microphone so sorry about that big noise. Um, so yeah, uh, what is the requirement for that? So we're going to break that down and give you a bit of the um, I guess how to interpret the rules because the thing is is that the rules are a little bit vague around that but we want to make sure that we are keeping our occupants protected and also complying with the rules. So what the rules are, first of all what we've got here is our demonstrator vehicle, the uh, Kia and we have in it a Braun Ability Turny Evo. So the reason why I'm going to use this one as our demo is that this is set up very similar to a wheelchair that's sitting in the vehicle. We can kind of pretend like I'm sitting in a wheelchair because it also has the tilt function similar to a wheelchair. So I'm going to sit in here and then I'm going to explain to you what the rules say. So what the rule says around seatbelts, this is the road rule number 265 in the Australian road rules which are also copied and pasted in every other road rule on the, of every state. What it basically says is every occupant must wear a seatbelt and the seatbelt must be properly fastened and adjusted. So it specifically uses the words properly fastened and adjusted. Now what that means in the everyday sense is that the seatbelt needs to be sitting on your body properly and fasted and adjusted so it's connected into basically the, the, the buckle point, it's connected in and this part here is adjusted so the bottom part of the belt is across your hips and the top part is engaging with your shoulders, right? So if you have a look here you can see that this thing here is in the top strap is engaging with my shoulders. Now this seat here like I told you it has a tilt function so how far back can I go? So in this, what you need to do is you need to make sure that you keep going further back until the point where basically this thing stops engaging with the shoulder. So I don't know if you can see that very well on the video, you might need to come a little bit closer, I'm not sure. Um, but basically what you've got here is you've got the point where I'm now probably starting to tilt a little bit too far. So you see how there's that gap there? So if I have an accident and I'm traveling like this, this thing is sitting up above me and if I move forward it may not engage properly with my shoulder, right? So what do I do and how can I, I guess, continue to travel if I need to tilt like this? What I need to do is I need to have a seatbelt that can move up and down and in this case it actually can't. So if it can't, I need to maybe go and speak to a modifier to see if can they modify the seatbelt to move it further down because what it needs to happen is this needs to come down further so the seatbelt actually engages with my shoulder down here right so it needs some form of modification on the vehicle to ensure that this engages on the shoulder if this is sitting up here and it doesn't engage on my shoulder then I'm not going to be properly protected and technically the road rules are being broken as well because I am not properly fastened and properly adjusted. I'm properly fastened, but I'm not properly adjusted because it's not adjusted onto my shoulder, which is the requirement of the seatbelt, right? So hopefully that answers the, how much tilt am I allowed to have? You are allowed to have as much tilt as long as the seatbelt is properly fastened and adjusted. If you cannot have the seatbelt properly fastened and adjusted, you may need to get an exemption from wearing the seatbelt. And we have seatbelts, uh, sorry, we have videos around what the exemptions mean and how to get that. And uh, you can search through our videos and we'll find that and there will be more videos coming up around that topic. So yeah, like we say with our subscribe flag over there, I don't know if you can see it in the corner of your video or not, doesn't matter. Um, hit that subscribe button down there, keep those questions coming in and we'll see you next time.